Welcome to this edition of LUTV News. I'm Caitlin Baker. The White House was put on lockdown early Monday morning for the second time in recent months. The U.S. Secret Service is investigating a commercially available drone that crashed on the South Grounds. The drone was spotted flying at low altitudes over the White House lawn just after 3 a.m. Investigators are looking into the origin and motive of the device, but have little information at this time. President Obama and the First Lady are both out of the country. A woman is dead after being struck by not one, but two vehicles Sunday night. Two vehicles struck the 45-year-old woman while she was attempting to cross the street against a light at McCaughlin and Plateau in South St. Louis. Both drivers remained at the scene and neither were injured. Authorities have not yet released the name of the victim. First responders in St. Charles County are undergoing an upgrade to the 911 emergency system. The County Council approved the $3.5 million upgrade and seven-year contract with emergency call workers in October. One of the advantages includes cell phone call mapping, which shows responders an exact location. More than 70% of 150,000 911 calls made last year in the county came from cell phones. Officials say the current system is 10 years old and has not kept up with technology. The suicide rate in Missouri has slowly increased. Data released by the American Association of Suicidology reports that in 2012, Missouri had a suicide rate of 15.9% per, per 100,000 people. The national average is 13 suicides per 100,000 people, ranking Missouri 18th in the nation. If you or someone you know has suicidal thoughts, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255.